So the past couple of videos, you might have saw this behind me. You're probably wondering what all this stuff is. It's called a waste of fucking money. But what I'm going to do today is show you guys a little bit of my collection. Mostly Nintendo Switch, because that seems to be my favorite console and the console I seem to collect for the most right now. So, without further ado, here is my Nintendo Switch collection. Alright, so now we're recording here at my desk, so I'll be putting the games on the desk and just kind of showing you guys what they are, and I'll give a couple little sentences of thoughts about them. This video won't be highly edited, it's going to be a long video, I have a lot of games, so don't expect any fancy editing or some crazy scripted review of all of the 90 plus games, or maybe even 100 plus, I don't know anymore, how many, however many Switch games I have. So. I'm, I have three random piles here. I don't really know what order the games are in. I just kind of took them off my shelf and just put them on my desk here beside me. So I'm going to grab the first game. So, first game. Oh, here's a good one. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. If you have a Switch, I highly recommend Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's pretty well one of the essential games to get if you own a Switch. It's Mario Kart. It's fun for everyone. And quite honestly, you can't go wrong. All right, next game. Oh, a lot of people like this one. It's Skyrim. You see, I tried getting into Skyrim a couple times. It's not that I don't like the game. I guess it's just not really for me. I only clocked in about five hours. I know that's really baby numbers and I should try it more, but maybe I'm just not patient enough for games anymore because I seem to get stop playing a lot of them a couple hours in if I don't have too much enjoyment out of them. But yeah, there's Skyrim. All right. The next game is... Oh, this one kind of disappointed me. Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD. Everyone told me how good Monkey Ball was. So I get this on the Switch. Um, it's really not that good. Um, I have Monkey Ball Banana Blitz on the Wii. And it's way better. Next game. I never opened this. It just looked cool. Surviving the Aftermath. Um, I want to get into it. It looks like a fun little game and uh hopefully you can get into it one day that's pretty well all, all i have to say about this one next game the legend of zelda breath of the wild one of the best zelda games and i've played a lot of zelda um it's not your normal zelda game as you may know but quite honestly it's a lot of fun next game oh speaking of zelda the legend of zelda links awakening on the switch this game is is a lot of fun a lot of fun it's your traditional zelda it's pretty well a one-to-one -one remake of the uh, game boy game all right next game mortal kombat 11 so i kind of got this on a whim um so i was just in walmart with a friend we wanted a game to play that was multiplayer i knew mortal kombat was multiplayer i bought it not really thinking i would like it and mortal kombat is a lot of fun next game Namco Museum Arcade Pack. This is just a bunch of old uh, Namco games pretty well. Um, lots of fun. I highly recommend it if you find it. No More Heroes Free. I started it. Um, the thing that really, I guess, turned me off in terms of this game was its world. And it kind of didn't perform well at all on Switch. All right. This game is another game I didn't try. Oddworld Munch's Odyssey. I've been meaning to play it. I will eventually. I heard Oddworld is a great game series. Severely underrated. I'll get into it one day. Octopath Traveler. I tried. I didn't try long. I only tried like 30 minutes of the game. But um, the game looks really nice. But I can't see this being an RPG I would play. Persona 5 Strikers. Uh, I need to be Persona 5 on the PS4, which I do have. Ooh, people didn't like my video on this. Um, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, I love the gameplay in this game. It's the best Pokemon game in terms of gameplay. Everything else, story, world, graphics, um, eh, it wasn't that great. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, here's actually... One of the only Pokemon games I never played. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I have a copy, I just never played it. Here's a Pokemon game I did play. I even live streamed it a couple times on my channel. This is Pokemon Shining Pearl. Pokemon Sword. Um, 
This one? Eh. Alright, here's a game I've been wanting to get into. It looked really interesting. This is The Police. I'll get into it one day. I heard it's really good. And yeah. And I guess I also have its sequel sitting right here. This is The Police 2. Um, I have to beat the first one. Here's a game I, I, I've been meaning to get back into because it kind of had... I had a little bit of fun within the first couple hours, just never really got back into it yet. Trials of Mana Remake. Oh, here's a game I actually- one of them I did beat. This is a collection of games. This is the Trine Ultimate Collection. I beat Trine 1. I actually beat Trine 1 with my mom, believe it or not. And my mom is not really much of a gamer, but she actually managed to push through. Oh, here's an interesting one. Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. Um. It's only like a two, three hour game at most, but it's a lot of fun. Here's a game I played a little bit on the Wii U. It's a 2D platformer and I didn't really beat it. That's just cause it's not that, it's not cause it's bad. I just don't really like 2D platformers. Um, Rayman Legends, I'll, I'll try and get back into it one day. Ooh, here's one I didn't actually beat, Metroid Dread. I put about an hour or two in. I know the game's only like eight hours, but I don't see myself beating it. All right. Here's a game I just kind of saw on a game shop shelf. It was actually kind of cheap. I think I got it for like 10 bucks. It just kind of looked interesting. Riot Civil Unrest. I'll get into it one day. It just looked cool on the shelf. Rune Factory 4 Special. I hear a lot about the series online. I heard it's a really good series. Uh, the camera's not picking up this game too well, is it? It probably didn't pick up a lot of games well. But Rune Factory 4. Um, I plan on getting into it. Looks like a fun game. Oh. Saints Row the Third, the full package. I plan on getting into it eventually. Oh, Saints Row 4. I'll, I'll try and beat 3 before going into 4. But I also heard this is pretty well your only GTA-like experience on the Switch. Oh, here's a good one. And honestly, get this on every gaming system you own. Like, it's lots of fun. Minecraft. Minecraft is just so much fun. Oh, here's a fun game. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. It's a port from the Monster Hunter Generation games on the 3DS, and it's a lot of fun. Monster Hunter Rise. This was, I guess, the Switch's first actual Monster Hunter game, because the other one was a re-release. Samurai Warriors 5. I just... Okay, in this game, there's two campaigns from two different characters. I beat one of them, and it was really good. It's a Musou game. So, if if you're really not into the big hack and slash type thing, I don't recommend it, but if you are, give this one a shot. Shin Megami Tensei Free Nocturne HD Remaster. Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. Um, I'll get to it. I'll get to it one day. It's another RPG I just didn't get into. Here's a game I actually, surprisingly enough, didn't get into at all. Animal Crossing New Horizon. Alright. Here's a game I had lots of fun with on PC. I never actually played it on Switch yet. I just bought it in case I go on like a long plane flight road trip. You know what I mean? It's Civilization VI. I had lots of fun with this game on PC. I put over 100 hours into this game. Um, on Switch, it's relatively cheap, but it does not have all the features that the PC and other versions of the game have. So, And it also doesn't look that good or run as good. So... Uh, do your research before you buy this version of the game. Alright, next game. Oh, this one's a lot of fun. Slay the Spire. This game is a lot of fun. I only put like two hours in, but honestly, it's like one of those games you play like 10 minutes and then you kind of put it down, right? It's um, a fun game. It's a really fun game. Oh, Sonic Mania. Um, this game has a lot of praise. Um, I unfortunately... Look, I'm uh, like I said, I'm not a 2D platformer. I'm especially not a Sonic guy, so... This one didn't really, I didn't really enjoy all too much. It's not a bad game. I heard it's the best Sonic game of all time, supposedly. But honestly, this isn't my cup of tea. Um, here is a game that is my cup of tea, Splatoon 2. I originally played Splatoon on the Wii when it released, or sorry, on the Wii U when it released. I had lots of fun, so I picked up Splatoon 2 whenever I saw it on sale for Black Friday a couple years ago. Oh, here's a game I had lots of fun with. It's another one of those little short gag games that only took like three hours for me to beat. Untitled Goose Game. This game is a lot of fun. Uh, here's a series I tried to get into. Valkyria Chronicles. This is the fourth game. Um, it's just not for me. Oh, here's a game I'm actually playing through right now. Vampire with a Y. Um, it's a lot of fun. Warriors Orochi 4. I made a video about this. It's a pretty good Musou game. 
Um, not the best one I've played, but, um, it's still lots of fun. World War Z. Um, I like the game, but it looks like really shit. It looks like shit on the Switch, so I can't really recommend it. And the audio is compressed to all hell, and it sounds so weird. Oh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Um, I heard this game was really good. Never got into it. I heard it doesn't run the best on Switch, but I'll, I'll give it a shot, see if I enjoy it. If, if I enjoy it, it just doesn't run well, I may just grab it on Steam, because I know it's on PC. Oh, here's a game I really do like. Star Wars The Jedi Knight Collection. I really enjoy Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. I beat that game probably like 20 times, but Jedi Knight Outcast? Uh, I got pro I probably got like four or five hours into the game. I just could never really get into it. Oh, here's another Star Wars pack. The Racer and Commando Combo. Mario Maker 2. I got Mario Maker 1 whenever it first released on the Wii U. I had lots of fun with it, so I, I had to buy Mario Maker 2. Oh, here's one of the Switch's best games. I beat this game. I put a bunch of extra hours in after I beat it. Um, I think I'm about 40 hours into it. This is Super Mario Odyssey. This is the best Mario game. Oh, Assassin's Creed The Ezio Collection. Here's a game I actually really liked. I, too bad it's gone now. Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. All right, so Assassin's Creed 3. This is the first Assassin's Creed game I've played and I've beaten. All right, what do we got here? Oh, here's a good game, Astral Chain. Here's a game I plan to get into. I just kind of saw it at a, at like a flea market or something. I don't know, someone was selling Switch games at a flea market. I don't know why. Um, but Bendy and the Ink Machine. Bioshock the Collection. I tried getting into it, but first-person shooters, especially single-player campaigns, are not my thing. Here's an odd game. Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. What else do we got here? Oh, Borderlands. Bravely Default 2. Alright, Burnout Paradise Remastered. This game surprised me. I got it at Walmart. I paid like a lot for it. I paid like 40 bucks. But like, holy wow, it surprised me. It's actually a really, really, really good game. Oh, here's another really good game. Catherine Full Body. This game is wicked, man. Clubhouse Games, 51 World of Wide Classics. It's a bunch of board games on the Switch. It's fun, you know. It's pretty well just board games on your Switch, but honestly, I can see the appeal, and it's a good release. I think Nintendo did a good job with that game. Collection of Mana. It's a bunch of old Square Enix games, so I'll get into it one day. Crash Bandicoot 4. Um, it was alright. Um, I put like four hours in. Oh, here's a game I had lots of fun with. Cruisin' Blast. Here's a game I had some fun with. I don't see myself beating it, but I put like six hours in it. Maybe I actually will beat it, because it is actually quite fun. It kind of reminds me of Ocarina of Time a little bit in terms of, of dungeons and stuff like that in the game, but Darksiders. Darksiders War Remastered Edition, great game. Dragon Quest XI. This is the Switch one, so it has the crazy ass long name. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age, Definitive Edition, Final Fantasy X and X2. Um, it's a lot, it's a lot of fun, right? Final Fantasy X, but holy wow. It's a PS2 RPG, all right. Here's actually a PS2 RPG I did beat really quick. Final Fantasy XII, Fire Emblem Free Houses. Speaking of Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Warriors. This is one of my favorite Switch games. I put like 70 hours into it. I love a Musou game, right? But like, I'm looking forward to Fire Emblem Warriors Free Houses. I know no one else really cares, but I feel like Nintendo almost only made that game announcement in the last Direct just for me. Oh, here's a fun game, Hades. Oh, here's a weird one. Another weird GameStop impulse purchase. Helmut the Badass from Hell. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Here's a game, I know the servers are shutting down, but I'll play it a little bit. Um, I'll play it a little bit before, and I'll probably just play a lot of single player. It's another fighting game, Jump Force. Oh, here's a game I actually had some fun with, just kind of doing the multiplayer. Katamari Damacy Reroll. The Legend of K Anniversary. Here's a game that I have mixed opinions about. Lego Worlds, Man Eater. Man Eater, it doesn't look great on Switch, but it's lots of fun. Man Eater is a lot of fun. You play as a shark and you eat people. But now I'm gonna go through a lot of the collector's edition stuff I have. So I'm back. Um, I'm aware lots of this 
isn't really collectors but it is just kind of cool stuff like for example get this out of the way quick the witcher free wild hunt complete edition has a bunch of cool little goodies in there so i kind of wanted to put it in this category but it's kind of not since it's the only i think it's the only physical version of the game that actually came out but it's kind of cool here is a really interesting one i've been i don't know it just looks I can't tell if the game's satire or not. It's called Hero Land. Um, here's another odd one. Uh, Beyond a Steel Sky. Um, it's a steel book, right? Which kind of, I guess that's funny because the name has, the name of the game has steel in it. Um, okay, here, these ones aren't really collector's editions at all or anything special, but I figured I should mention them anyway because uh, they're kind of rare and I forgot to put them in my game stack. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torn Out of Golden Country. This is a pretty good game. So it was... Oh, this one isn't really collectors. I just kind of forgot. Um, and Xenoblade 2. Xenoblade Chronicles, the definitive work set. All right. Um, here's another one. Shin Megami Tensei 5, the Steelbook Edition. Um, it has a really nice Steelbook, man. Like, holy. This is a game I tried getting into. I'll never beat it. One day. One day I'll beat it, but I don't see myself... It's, it's a mix, right? Like, I don't know if I actually want to beat it. Um, Alright, Fire Emblem Warriors. Do I recommend you guys play this game? Yes, but here's the collector's edition. It's kind of cheap for a collector's edition now. Here's an odd one. It's my only limited run release that I own. Um, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game. I heard it's really good. I just was... I'm too scared to open this. I don't want to take the seal off. I may just download it. Crypt of the Necro Dancer Collector's Edition. I heard this is a really good game. I'll get into it one day. And here are some odd ones here. They're not really games. They're more little uh, collectible controllers. So I have the Xenoblade 2 uh, Collector's controller or special edition controller i i really like xenoblade 2 so that's why i grabbed that i also really like smash bros i found this for actually 20 bucks and it had everything in it it was still sealed too so that was a really good buy it was at a pawn shop um and here we have the legend of zelda skyward sword hd joy cons it's they're not really rare these ones but they're cool to own at dead cells big collector's box right behind this um, it's, it, that sells, I, I've been meaning to get into it, I'll get into it one day. So, thank you all for watching this video, I know it was long, it's, and it wasn't really the most entertaining me in the world, um, it's honestly a video I've been dreading to make, it's not the funnest type of video to make, I know people want to see it though, because sharing your collection is cool, see, it almost gives you a little bit of insight onto someone's I guess personality or who they are based on what they play and I guess this was a fun video and people will enjoy I will edit it the, the best of my ability to try and make it good as it was a completely unscripted I don't usually script my videos but I don't really know what to say in these scenarios to make it too entertaining you know I'm not beat-em-ups I can't freaking open a million products and be entertaining the whole time but hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like subscribe and don't really ask for that ever but you should do it. You should do it. This was a pain in the ass. I gotta put them all back on my shelf in alphabetical order now. So one like equals one like.